De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y ahora vamos a tener una entrevista muy interesante en inglés. We're going to switch back to English because we're going to talk to Nigel Francis. Nigel Francis, a senior automotive advisor for the state of Michigan and uh, head of the new Michigan Economic Development Corporation. How are you, Nigel? How are you? Yeah, Javier, uh, very well, thank you. Uh, of course, it's uh, cold here in Michigan where I am right now, uh, but we, thought we all feel very warm because of the uh, success of the North American International Auto Show last week. Yeah, it's uh, it's been amazing. I I've been uh, going I've been going to the auto show for the past uh, 10, 12 years now. And I remember the all good days, and then I remember the really bad days, 2008, 2009. It looked more than a funeral than a celebration. <laughs> no carpet, like bare cement, and like the cars were there just like a poor display. And now it's great to see how the the auto industry, uh, especially with the three bigs from Detroit, I mean, everybody's doing great. Um, we know what happened with the government helping uh, Ford and Chry I mean, uh, GM and Chrysler, but uh, there's also a lot of uh, other good stories going on in Detroit, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, if you go back to uh, 2008 and 2009, uh, the uh, North American industry lost approximately half of its uh, sales, so it lost approximately half of its production. Uh, that's all come back. Uh, right now we're running at uh, production numbers and sales numbers uh, very similar to before the Great Recession. Uh, so. Uh, Times are good back here in the North American uh, uh, automotive industry, and that's uh, good news for the state of Michigan and good news for the city of Detroit as well. Yeah, exactly. And as we mentioned, obviously the government helped GM and in a big way and Chrysler, but there's also a lot of uh, talent, like a lot of people, engineers, designers, executives that make this happen because it's not, I mean, you can put money in anything and if you don't know how to do things, uh, that money will go to waste. This wasn't the case here, right? Yeah, correct. I can tell you that this turnaround that has uh, happened in the automotive uh, sector in, in the state of Michigan is very much due to the uh, the talent of the uh, people making the cars, the pe people making the tools that make the cars, the service industries around that, and of course the management of uh, all of those organizations, the OEMs and the, uh, the tier supply companies who um, have, have done a, an astounding job of pulling together and making this great turnaround in the North American uh, automotive industry. So can you talk a little bit about this uh, Michigan Economic uh, Development Corporation, how it's uh, impacting the auto industry, please? Yeah, sure, I'd be, uh, I'd be delighted to do that. So, you know, the, 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 role of the, uh, the role of government, the role of the state, is, is to create an attractive environment in which the car companies and the supply companies are comfortable and able to operate for their own success. So the Michigan Economic Development Corporation is, is there to provide a, a, an interface between government and uh, the, 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 the uh, in, in industrial companies and also to provide uh, key measures of assistance to them uh, to, to be successful in the state of Michigan. Yeah, uh, it's very interesting to me to hear that uh, you are from England, right? Like you were born and educated in England, but you work in the States. And I guess because of your expertise at a global uh, scenario, that has, uh, it's, it's very important that, that someone like you with that kind of experience is uh, helping uh, the state of Michigan and the uh, car manufacturers here in the United States. Well, I think that's a very interesting comment from you and uh, very perceptive. Perceptive. So yes, I was uh, born in the United Kingdom and educated there. Um, I ran uh, a successful business, which uh, which actually uh, I took international uh, from the United Kingdom. I then had the opportunity to move to Michigan to uh, to run another business. And uh, once once you get here into the centre of the automotive world. And you understand not only have you got everything that you need uh, on a professional level around you, but you also have this fantastic state to uh, live in as well. Um, it's not somewhere that you would want to leave again. So um, Michigan's my home, 
I'm also a U.S. citizen as well, uh, and uh, I'm I'm lucky. I'm very very lucky. I believe that I have this opportunity to, uh, towards the end of my career, work within my industry, in what is uh, my adopted home state and do what I can to uh, ensure that we all together have a great future. Yeah, that's great. Um, uh, the city of Detroit and its own, it's uh, going through a rough uh, a rough situation now, more or less like uh, the car manufacturers were like five, six years ago, but also the car manufacturers are like the, the soul of the, of the city, right? So what did you see happening uh, with the... Uh, the substantial growth that the car manufacturers are having, not only in Americans, but like now uh, it's a global world, as you know. Like, so how do you see happening in Detroit with the help of the automotive industry? Yeah, good question. Um, you know, Detroit has, has its ups and downs. I think, uh, you know, life itself is cyclical. Uh, the important thing that we have going on in Detroit right now is that we have a, a an organized financial restructuring. Let's understand that it's a financial restructuring. Very much the way a company would restructure its uh, balance sheet in, uh, in difficult times. That then positions the city uh, to move forward in a successful way, highly successful way. And I'd say, um, you know, to people that have not been to Detroit recently, I'd say come on over. Uh, there's huge activity going on within the city in relation to uh, uh, redevelopment. There's large companies moving back downtown. The Kobo Center itself, where the North American International Auto Show was, uh, or is being held for the public right now, actually, yeah. has undergone a multi-million dollar renovation. Uh, you know, things, things are moving. The car industry has turned around. The state has turned around and the city of Detroit is in the process of turning around right as we speak. Yeah. So, um, you know, come here, take a look, bring your business here. Yeah, I, I actually was there last week and I, uh, I was the guest of General Motors and they not only took us to the auto show but they also took us to some of the new companies that are starting in Detroit like Shinola the the watchmaker and the bike maker and I mean actually they make a lot of the luxury products and that was really great to see not only the store the, the quality of the products they're making there but also what's going on in those neighborhoods that uh, just a few years ago were pretty much abandoned yeah and it's uh, I think this is a very important observation from from, from you Of course, the message takes a long time uh, to travel all the way around the world. And there are people that will tell you, communications people will, will tell you that you have to persistently pass any message. So being persistent about this message, I would say it is in a big turnaround. Things are in uh, good shape here in Michigan and in, in the automotive industry. And... Uh, There is a, a large amount of inward investment going into the city of Detroit, which uh, makes it a different place um, day by day. Good yeah. News. So we're talking to Nigel Francis. He's the senior automotive advisor for the state of Michigan. And uh, Nigel, can we talk a little bit about cars? Uh, what you saw at the Detroit Auto Show that, uh, that, that you like? Obviously, I guess the car of the year, the Corvette and the, the, um, the Chevrolet the Silverado, the pickup truck of the year. Uh, those are great, but what else did you see that you like at the auto show and uh, you can uh, relate to uh, our audience and co potential customers? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's very interesting. I'd actually pick out two other, two other vehicles that I'd like to uh, uh, talk about. Firstly, uh, a Chrysler Fiat products. It's Chrysler products from the Jeep brand, the Jeep Cherokee, mid-size SUV, lovely vehicle. Um, I've driven driven one several times in the snow here. Uh, great performance uh, on uh, on difficult uh, road surfaces. Certainly, certainly worth looking at. Um, then, of course, there's the new Ford F-150, which is um, is being produced with a, a an aluminum intensive body structure which uh, holds the promise of giving uh, a, a, a very great increase in fuel economy. 
Yeah, I heard I go up to 20%, which is amazing, uh, given the, that like uh, the, the, the F-150 is the most sold vehicle in the States for the 37 years, and obviously it's very important also for the recovery and the economy in every aspect, like construction, work, and any other business. So that's uh, that's like amazing what, again, uh, talent engineering can do in a car. Like uh, people take a, a pickup truck and don't think much about what's going behind that, but there's that, that's a good one. Yeah, you're right. I like that too. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know it's a game changer. It's a game changer, and I think it'll be very interesting to see how the sales of that go over 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 the next two to three years in particular. Excellent. Very um, very bold move on behalf of uh, Ford Motor Company and the uh, you know the, the the engineering department there. Excellent. Well, Nigel, unfortunately, we're coming up to the end of the of this segment. It's uh, we could talk like the whole hour, I guess, because there's so much to, good things to talk about uh, Detroit and uh, Michigan and the auto industry here in the United States. But uh, in, in short, is there any place where our audience can look for uh, in the internet for more of what you're doing uh, there with the state of Michigan? Yes, so, certainly. Um, there's several sites, but uh, the best place to, to go to would be to www.michigan.org and looking forward to uh, welcoming people that have an interest in bringing their business into the state of Michigan. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nigel, again, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon, and uh, if not, maybe at the next auto show in Detroit next year, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.